Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how you can create a stress analysis simulation in SOLIDWORKS. So first of all on this machine component I've kept this surface fixed and on this surface I've applied a force of 10,000 newton in the direction shown by these purple arrows. So now let's take a look at how we can create this simulation. First of all you need to go to tools, click on add-ins and deselect the Solid si SOLIDWORKS simulation tab. Click on OK. Now go to the evaluate tab and click on simulation express analysis wizard. Now we'll first of all add a fixture. So uh, first of all you need to select a surface which you want to keep fixed and related to this the other parts of the object would move when the force is applied onto them. So I've selected this face. You can select multiple other faces by clicking on control and selecting these faces as well. So click on OK. Click on next and uh, select add a force. Now type in the force which you require. I wanted uh, 10,000 Newton force. You can type whatever magnitude you require and select the face on which you want this. Uh, and now if you want it normal you can always select this normal option or if you want it to be in a particular direction you can select this as well so select this right plane and now you can see the arrows basically point perpendicular to this plane so that will be the direction of this force and uh, type in the magnitude here which you require of the force click on ok click on next and select the material whichever you want so I'll be selecting uh, any steel click on apply and then click on next and now what you will first have to do is uh, change the mesh density now since this works on a method known as finite element method so you need to have as many elements possible but uh, so that the simulation happens uh, properly and you get results that you will be expected to have in the cases which you are performing this analysis but the important thing is if you create a large number of elements for this then uh, of course the simulation would take a lot more time so uh, you can select this bar and kind of tune it to very fine I'll, I'll be selecting somewhere in between here click on ok so it's basically generating the mesh click on next and click on run simulation So as you can see uh, the from the animation, this is how the deformation is going to take place. And if you feel that the deformation is happening as you expect, click on next. And as you can see, uh, the factor of safety of my design is only about 0 0.48, which implies that the fact that uh, the part which is shown by this red, red color, uh, this would be damaged uh, in the load case as shown so you need to always keep it above greater than one so that the applied stress the, the stress at this part is less than the uh, ultimate tensile stress of this material so if you click on the one mice stress you can basically analyze it from here uh, the zones where the maximum stress is bound to happen and also you can uh, see the displacement as well from this animation so click on done viewing results and then you can generate a report so this report would be generated ms word and you can save it wherever you require so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like i will be doing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks